positioning that. Got that ammo right there. And let's uh, reposition that a little bit. Now we can go ahead and take this. Edit copy again, edit paste in the front, but we're going to change that color again to this color. And we are going to reposition these now. There we go. That's working. That looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? I want that to be more consistent. We're going to actually uh, take those and cover that up. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. Does that look pretty good? All right, let's go ahead and, um, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put these little lights in here. We'll call this light one. Take my pen tool, zoom up on here. And let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna just, uh, you know what? Let's just uh, make this a little consistent. Let's go ahead and grab him. We're going to edit, copy. You know, I don't even need to put it. I'm, I'm going to put it all in the same layer. So I'm going to go headlight one. I'm going to go here. Edit, copy. Edit, paste in front. And then what I'm going to do is take that graphic. Hold down Shift Alt. And just kind of rescale it a bit. And let's go ahead and uh, turn off that stroke. And let's give it a, you know, kind of like a yellow color. You know, maybe a yellow, maybe we can go white. There we go. I think that works. And we can do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and um, take this guy. Edit, copy, edit, paste in front. And let's go ahead and give this color white. And what we're going to do is take that and resize that a bit. Uniform scale. Let's go a little smaller. There we go. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Alright. Let's go ahead and um, Resize, or you know, not resize. I don't know why I keep saying resize, but let's go ahead and um, you know, bring the opacity down on these these layers and see what we can do. Now. Oh, obviously we got these set of uh, headlights. You know, let's just make it easier on ourselves. I am actually going to um, go to my layers. We are gonna lock all these right here, and we're just gonna grab these headlights. I'm gonna lock this one first too. Highlight that. We're gonna hit Alt, and I am gonna resize that, and probably bring it even in. Make it something like that. You know, I can possibly even take that, and I believe there might be. distort transform we got free distort we can actually come in here and reposition these there we go and that kind of distorts it a little bit more let's go and lock that one let's take this grab these I'm gonna hit alt again and I'm gonna resize these ones now kind of are you know I'm just gonna position that make that a little bit smaller Shift Alt. 
let's go ahead and zoom up on that and we're gonna distort that one as well so I'm gonna grab all those right here just grab the headlights the reason that was I'm able to do that is because I can highlight it and I got all these locks so it makes it easy to grab that we're going to uh, I believe it's effect distort transform free distort and we are going to here I'm gonna move that off to the side and we're gonna kind of uh, manually uh, distort that a bit and bring that out a bit I'll bring it up a little higher there and we'll go ahead and make that press OK that looks pretty good and I'm gonna reposition that a little bit There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Sweet. All right. I think that yep, that looks good. Let's go ahead and um, let's go check out. Uh, let's unlock everything except for a bottom layer. Highlight everything. Let's reset everything back down and see what we can work on next. I'm thinking. Let's try the bumper here. Let's get that mouth. That's kind of a cool part. So, we're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna call this uh, mouth. Let's go mouth slash bumper. Bumper. I guess that's how you spell it. bumper, right? Yeah, good enough. All right, here we go. We're um, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the bumper here. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom up on that and use my space bar to kind of you know pan in here. I want to get really close up here. Now, here we got a little tricky situation. We've got some of the nose of the truck in front of the bumper and then the bumper in front of it. So we're gonna build that in kind of separate sections here. So I'm gonna take my pen tool now. Let's go ahead and uh, take out that fill. Put on a stroke. And we're gonna go. I'm gonna start off here. And then um, you know, we'll go around, create this little part. All right, so I guess I'm gonna start right about there. That looks about right. There we go. Looks like my stroke is set to uh, probably a one, that's fine. I'm gonna come around here, don't worry. Don't worry about that little area. We're gonna recreate that. Probably go right there. Go ahead and um, do that, and we're going to come right across here, just like that. Don't worry about that. We're going to build that separate as well. All right. From here, though, I'm just going to go ahead and um, you know we're just going to give the illusion. Let's just uh, let's go right there, reset that, and then I'm going to bring that around like that. Go ahead and uh, do something like that. And we are going to come across. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just going to come across all the way. We're going to build that mouth separate. Something like that. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, let's go ahead and give that a fill. Or black. Right, next thing I'm gonna do is take that. You know, uh, let's go ahead and edit, copy, edit, paste in the front, and let's go ahead and uh, I sample that with that and take our space bar. Let's uh, resize this. I'm using Alt. Grab my magnifying glass. Grab an Alt. Let's do it one more time. And let's do that. Yeah, just like that. Let's go ahead and highlight everything reset everything all right let's uh, zoom up on that bumper here remember you can actually click highlight like that and it'll zoom right up to it I'll do that again just so you can see what it did say so let's, uh, let's zoom way out all right I'm gonna take my magnifying glass and just like the marquee tool or your selection tools notice how you get the little you know marquee or marching ants or whatever you want to call it um, I'm gonna take the magnifying and we're just gonna highlight that little area just like that and BAM right there all right let's take our uh, selection 
sub selection, or if you want to call, you know, let's get that right. Let's call it our direct selection, I believe. Um, yep, it's our direct selection. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of variation here. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. Let's. Uh, That looks, you know, to be honest, that looks pretty good. This, I'm not quite digging on. Hold on. Let's see if we can actually, um, I don't know, let me back out and see what that looks like. Yeah, something about that's bothering me. Maybe because the lines are too close. I guess what we could do is, um, let's uh, take our layers here. I wish I could still get those unlocked. Or, you know, let's grab, um, hold on, let's go and grab them this way. Did I lock something? No. Oh, I see what I did wrong. There we go. Let's see. Let's grab this. I don't want that to be quite there. Sorry, I just didn't like how that was like bunching up right there. Let's take this and there we go. Much. Yeah, I guess we can make this a little thicker too, right there. There we go. Much better. Sorry, just a little picky about certain things. All right, 